As a transgender woman, one of the things I really struggled with has been my voice. Um, it's been a challenge for me to be perceived as female based on my voice. Uh, and it's been um, something that has outed me in a lot of cases. So I've been trying to work on that. And one of the first things I did try to work on was my voice. And I did a lot of practice, but it never really felt completely right to me. Um, I haven't necessarily had a problem in person, but on the phone it's always been difficult. Um, I'm just in the wrong range. Um, I have an app, and if you look, it says I'm in the male range, which is mostly between 100 hertz and 150 hertz. And if I try really hard, I can go up into the female range, but it's exhausting. It hurts my throat quite a lot. It's really, and I can't be relaxed and do that. So, I am seeking vocal feminization surgery, which is where they modify your vocal cords to shorten them. So they take what's basically a V and join it together part way up to make it a Y. So, it limits your range. You can't go any higher than you could go before, but you can't go as low as you used to before. So, um, so I'm really excited about this. I've been working with a speech pathologist who's helped me with intonation and lip posture, and there is a fair amount of just the accent of being female that I think has gotten better as I've practiced over the years. But, um, it's interesting. I've noticed it changes a lot depending on what I'm talking about and who I'm talking to. Some people it's really easy for me to have a feminine voice and some people it's really difficult. And I'm not really sure why that is. I think it's kind of due to history, like with my parents, just because they've known me for so long. That's, that's a difficult situation. But with people I've never met before, it's easier, and I do have a different voice with them. So I don't know. But, um... After working with my speech pathologist, I got referred to a uh, ENT surgeon who is um, going to put me, give me surgery for this, this um, vocal feminization in a couple months. Uh, I have an, a date for it in the upcoming uh, in two months, basically, which I'm very excited about because uh, I feel like my voice has been one of the big things that has made integration in society as a trans woman very difficult. Um, we'll see if that's true or not, but um, I'm looking forward to trying. You know, I have other things I'm having to overcome, like um, my face and my size, but uh, hopefully the more, the more things that I can take off the list that are obviously male, um, the easier time I'll have with society as a whole. Um, that's certainly been my, my biggest issue in transition, is dealing with other people, or how they deal with me, I should say. Um, you know, it's been, it's been traumatic, so that's my hope. This is my, this is my preview, I guess, to what it's going to be like during recovery, um, and I'll shoot videos about the whole surgery process and recovery as well. Um, so look forward to those in the future. Okay. May you be blessed. Be well. Be at peace. Aloha.